What's up guys, this is Log Chance for this video, and it is Prototype World. Hope you enjoy, I'm going to show you how to make a, quite a few complicated things, redstone wise. I've basically built all kinds of things that I never really use in my worlds, but sometimes I do. Oh, forgive me, I'm tired. This one just shows how an inverter works. You just throw a torch over here. It works the same way as an inverter. I don't know how to do videos, guys, so... Forgive me if I do them a little bit different. Ooh. If you'd like me to do a video on anything, please leave a comment. This is my combo door. Shuts flush. Some people make it to where you just push a button and it opens, but I like to complicate things because I'm stupid. <laughs> mm, how about something that you would like if you're making a hover game server? Say you have something that you want to drop daily, say food or something of value. Just throw in a dispenser, which I love these things. Throw in a dispenser, or put one of these on top, and it'll dispense once daily or once a night, depending on what you put it to. And I think that's a good way that you could, like, feed people in your server. Just because the fact that it's a Hunger Games server, I'm gonna try to implement it in one of my friends his Hunger Games server that we're building. Or if you want to be stingy and be scared about everybody taking everything, you can put it inside one of these since you're going to be building Hunger Games in Creative. And then once daily you can have little diamonds come out of the fountain or whatever. See, there's your light bulb right there. It'll eventually flow down. And I guess like whoever gets here first gets it. Hmm. Uh, here's an elevator. If you want me to do a video on anything, just comment. Uh, I'm too tired. Uh, too tired to be doing this. It's a crappy first video to actually have my voice in, but my buddy Rez Ops finally like showed me how that. I could put my voice into a video. I've only got like two videos up for Battlefield, one for Black Ops. And there's my complicated door. I have the timer set so you have to run inside. But when you want to leave, you can just walk out. But it shuts fast. Not only that. But like, whenever you stand on it, you can see that the lights actually turn off on the inside. Because I put the redstone blocks right there in the open. And you can set it up to different timers to where this block goes first, that block goes first, that, 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 so on and so forth. i to show you how to do it once I make a video about it. I'll do that later though, it's too complicated. See all the redstone work put in that. Some people probably have a simpler way of doing it, but that's my way of doing it. Just a little mob killer, say you're being chased by a zombie or something. These walls don't have to be here, but say you're being chased by a zombie and he sees the quickest way is that way after you've already taken this way and he'll walk in there and just suffocate. This is actually a prototype world that I carried over from PlayStation 3. So majority of this was built on PlayStation 3, but this thing, I put too much time and work into it. I implemented two different designs that I had found on YouTube. 
and kind of modify them in my own way for a personal sorter. If you'd like me to make a tutorial on this, I could gladly show you how, but I'm not going to do it unless someone asks for it. For one, this is where you would put all your junk. So you have this, that, and you have some stone, that, 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 blah, 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 whatever, right? Throw a whole bunch of junk up here. This magical thing right here will then filter out whatever you have it set to. So long as it's in this configuration in this hopper. I'm actually building one on one of my friends' servers so that way I will have a hopper for every time I go mining I can just go down and pick up whatever I like. And down here this is for extended storage say I got a whole bunch of coal or something or iron and all that junk. If I don't want it to go through the hopper, I can just hit the switch and it'll turn that hopper off and it'll fill up the top chest instead of filling up however many more chests to add down here. And then you have the extended points. This is just like basically miscellaneous. But you could add another one of these to filter out the other good stuff that you have in here. Now you see, the way that these work are a whole bunch of hoppers on the opposite side. Actually, let me show you. This is one design, the sorter. And this is another design, the, uh, I guess you'd call it extended storage. It's like extended mags, but for Minecraft. The way that you put them together is... Regular chest, trap chest, regular chest, trap chest, so on and so forth, all the way down. But yeah, it will end up filling this one down here first, go all the way up this row filling up those chests, and then first come down to this one next, so on and so forth. I explained both of those out in case you wanted me to explain only one of them, or both, whatever, blah blah blah. I'm not good at this. Call me shy, call me stupid if you will, but there's that if you just want to copy it and not watch the video. I don't care. So, there's quite a few other things I could add. Point it out if you like. This is the end of my video.